Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to do a proof by induction that involves a little bit of calculus. Let's take a look at the statement that we're trying to prove. It says that if we're given a function y is equal to x times z to the x, then the task here is to prove that the nth derivative is equal to x plus n times z to the x. So if you were after the third derivative, it would be x plus 3, and the tenth derivative, x plus 10, and so on. So let's go through our steps. So with induction, the first step is always to show that it's true for at least one case, right? And so we'll just take the easy case, n is equal to 1. By the way, you don't have to use 1. It can be any number, really. So n is equal to 1. That means the first derivative. So I'm going to take the first derivative, which is dy dx. And in this case, the ones would go there, is equal to, well, the first times the derivative of the second plus the second times the derivative of the first. So that's x times e to the x plus e to the x. And of course, I can take an ex out. And that's going to be e to the x, um, x plus 1. And you can see right there, it was the first derivative. And we get 1, x plus 1. So it's true. All right, so we keep going. So of course, if that, if that was wrong, we could stop, right? We could use this as a contradiction. Second step is the assumption. So we assume we make assumptions. So we assume that it's true for k, OK, the kth derivative. So we assume that it's true for n is equal to k. Well, what does that mean? It means that if I take the kth derivative, so the kth derivative um, that the kth derivative will be equal to x plus k times e to the x. OK, so we just take that as an assumption. And we don't just take it as an assumption. Um, first off, we, we're allowed to assume it's true because we've shown it to be true for at least one case. And we could probably make a bunch of cases. And so we just take k as sort of an arbitrary example of the statement being true. Um, but not only that, but we're going to use that. That's got to be built into the induction step. So that's our third step. This is called the induction step. And this is essentially where all of the power of induction is used. What, what do we want to do in this step? Well, what we want to show is that the statement is true for k plus 1. But not just on its own. We want to show it's true for k plus 1 whenever it's true for n is equal to k. And now, this is really important because remember, this creates that domino effect. Um, also, too, we want to use this in our induction step. So here we go. What we want to work toward here is, is that if it's true for k plus 1, we want the k plus 1th derivative. So k plus 1, y of dx k plus 1. So we want to show, we want to work toward showing that that's equal to x plus k plus 1 times e to the x. Do you see I'm just simply putting k plus 1 into where we see the n. So this is what we want to work toward. All right. So what I can do is I can take the left hand side right here and I can start working with it in conjunction with my assumption step. Because that allows me to get this whenever built in. The whenever is a really important part of induction. So of course, if this is the k plus 1th derivative, I know that can be generated by taking the derivative of the kth derivative. So the kth derivative, um, d k y dx k. OK, that's the kth derivative. If I take the derivative of the kth derivative, I get the k plus 1th derivative, right? Now, look at this. The, D, the, K, the, the kth derivative is actually equal to this, right, by assumption. And this is a great place to incorporate it into the induction step. So I'm going to say d by dx of, I'm going to uh, substitute that in. So I've got my x plus k times e to the x. And now the rest is, is math. It's just basic arithmetic. I'm going to take the derivative of this physically. So the first times the derivative of the second plus the second times the derivative of the first. And that's going to be equal to x plus k times e to the x plus e to the x times the derivative of x plus k is 1. Well, look here. I get a 1 
here. So I've got an x plus k plus 1. Well, what's that? Well, that's equal to x plus k plus 1 times e to the x. Now, we knew that was going to work, didn't we? But look at how amazing this is. And don't miss the sort of subtlety of this proof. We just showed that the k plus 1th derivative is equal to this whenever it's true for the kth derivative. Notice we actually substituted that in to the step in order to show that union between those two n cases. And so we sort of summarize. Your teacher will probably require you to make a nice final statement. And the statement would read something like this. Since we showed that it's true, the statement is true for n is equal to 1, and we also showed that it's true for n is equal to k plus 1 whenever it's true for n is equal to k, then by um, using induction, we've proven the statement to be true for all values of n, all appropriate values of n. And that's the proof, the power of induction. This is absolutely not controversial. If you prove something using, using induction, this is not a matter of opinion. Pretty powerful in math. Anyway, if you like the video, slap a like on it. Don't forget to subscribe. And let me know what kind of videos you guys want for the future. Put the comments down below. I love hearing from you. And I'll see you right back here in the next video.